I was trained as a violinist. I didn't start writing until I had finished my master's degree and moved from Baltimore. I went to Peabody Conservatory and moved to New York to find fame and fortune as a violin soloist. There was more to me than just being a violinist playing in an orchestra. I knew there was. And so I started to, I took jazz violin lessons. I started to go check out friends who were playing in bands, in local bands. And one day I met a guitarist, a steel string guitar, a finger pick style guitarist. And he was so incredible to me. And I said to him, I'm a conservatory trained violinist. Would you like to sit down and make music together? Um, and through that experience, I got more and more confident with writing and writing became my life because it fulfilled the thing I was looking for as a performing violinist. I think the most important thing is to master an instrument, I have to say. When you've spent the time to master an instrument, it gives you the tools to explore anything in music, whether it be writing, conducting, uh, performing obviously, uh, but that's a very important step for composers, I think. It gives you the confidence to be able to express yourself immediately on an instrument and improvisation is a really large part of being a composer. Being flexible to say what would Dorothy sound like and then just saying I'm gonna try it let's hear some notes and then being able to copy that record it uh, write it down do anything you possibly can to move it to the next level and have the confidence to do it. 